One of the most misunderstood Ethereum projects just quietly pulled off one of the biggest comebacks of this entire year. And what if I told you the charts aren't lying? STRK is actually pumping for real reasons this time. Not hype, not airdrop speculation, but real fundamental catalysts that most retail investors like you haven't even noticed yet. Because Here's the truth. I've been watching StarkNet for months, and for most of that time, it felt like the project everyone forgot about. Brilliant tech, heavy brain power behind it, but absolutely no attention. Now, suddenly the market wakes up. The token starts moving, and people ask, why is STRK pumping so hard right now? What changed? So today I want to take you through everything I found. What StarkNet actually is, how it works, why it's different from other layer 2s, what's new, why the fundamentals shifted, and of course, I'll give you my personal outlook based on what I'm seeing. But first, welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about StarkNet, a token that dropped more than 90% after its launch and is suddenly acting like it's trying to rebuild its entire identity. Before we go deeper, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my own research and opinions. Always do your own due diligence. And if you enjoy videos like this, hit that subscribe button. It helps us a lot to get to our goal of 10,000 subscribers before 2025 ends. All right. Let's jump into it. If I had to explain StarkNet to someone who doesn't live in crypto, I'd say this. StarkNet is Ethereum, but supercharged. It sits on top of Ethereum as layer two and makes transactions faster, cheaper, and massively scalable. And the magic behind it, something called Stark proofs, a type of zero knowledge proof Starkware invented. Here's the simplest version. Instead of sending 1000 transactions to Ethereum one by one, StarkNet bundles them together, creates one tiny proof that says all of these transactions are valid and sends that proof to Ethereum. Ethereum checks it, approves it, and the entire batch is confirmed. That's why StarkNet is called a validity rollup because everything is proven correct before it hits Ethereum. This design lets StarkNet offer low fees, high throughput, Ethereum level security. And because Stark proofs don't need trusted setups and are even quantum resistant, StarkNet is pushing next generation cryptography into real usage. So right away, StarkNet is way more than just another layer two. It's a different architecture with its own technology, its own programming language, and a long-term vision to scale Ethereum through ZK proofs. StarkNet launched its mainnet in late 2021. Throughout 2022 and 2023, the ecosystem grew slowly because the tech was complex and still maturing. Then, in early 2024, the STRK token finally launched. We got one of the largest airdrops of the year. More than 700 million tokens went into users' wallets. And then the price absolutely collapsed. Why? Because STRK's total supply is 10 billion tokens, and only a tiny portion was circulating at launch. Month after month, tokens unlocked. Team tokens, investor tokens, ecosystem tokens, all slowly hitting the market. Of course, the price dropped. It went from hype-driven prices above $5 to $2 to below 50 cents, and eventually under 10 cents in October this year. Most people forgot about it. I didn't. Because while the token was in free fall, StarkNet's developers were building toward one of the biggest turning points since launch. Let's go straight to the core. STRK isn't pumping just because. This is not meme hype or a random rotation. Three real catalysts hit the market almost the same time and together they flipped everything. This is the big one. StarkNet launched BTC Fi Season, a program where Bitcoin holders can bring tokenized BTC onto StarkNet, stake it and earn STRK rewards. Think about how insane that is. An Ethereum layer 2 paying Bitcoin holders yield in STRK. When this went live, 
over $200 million worth of BTC moved into StarkNet's ecosystem. Total value locked surged, liquidity jumped, DeFi activity expanded, and here's the crazy part. Nearly 20% of the entire STRK supply is now locked in staking mechanisms. That alone changes everything. More demand, less circulating supply, more users entering from the Bitcoin community. This is the exact moment when STRK's chart flipped bullish. The second catalyst is pure technology. One of the early criticism of StarkNet was slow proof generation. It was secure, but not fast enough. Then StarkNet deployed the S2 prover on mainnet. This upgrade made proofs 10 times faster and lowered gas costs by almost 50%. This improves the entire user experience. Faster confirmations, cheaper transactions, more scalable applications. On top of that, StarkNet open source the prover, pushing the network closer to true decentralization. This wasn't a marketing gimmick. It was a real upgrade and it brought real confidence back into the ecosystem. The third catalyst is about expansion. StarkNet added new Solana StarkNet liquidity bridges through Hyperlane, letting users move assets like Sol and Bonk directly into StarkNet's ecosystem. This is huge, because it opens StarkNet to an entirely new user base. Then Anchorage Digital, a regulated institutional custodian, added STRK custody and staking. That basically means Institutions can now safely hold and stake STRK. The moment institutions get the infrastructure they need, capital follows. And we're already seeing that interest show up. Before I go deeper, I want to make this simple for beginners. Here's the workflow on StarkNet. Your transaction goes to the sequencer. The sequencer batches it with many others and updates StarkNet's state. Then the prover creates a Stark proof a mathematical guarantee everything is valid. That proof is sent to Ethereum. Ethereum verifies it and the whole batch becomes final. It's fast, secure and extremely efficient. And because StarkNet uses account abstraction, your wallet is actually a smart contract. That means things like social recovery, paying gas in different tokens, bundled transactions, better security options. This is the user experience crypto should have and StarkNet already built it. Now, let's talk about the token because most people misunderstand it. STRK isn't just a governance token. It has real utility. Here's what it does. Governance, holders decide the network's future, staking, validators stake STRK to secure StarkNet and earn rewards. You can pay gas in STRK with discounts, making it more useful. Incentives. STRK funds ecosystem growth, like BTC Phi season. Now, here's the key detail. Even though STRK has a 10 billion supply, only a portion is circulating at any given time. And recently, huge amounts of STRK got locked into staking. That's why the chart suddenly flipped bullish. Supply finally tightened for the first time. All right, let me give you my honest view. I'm more bullish on StarkNet now than at any point since the token launched. And here's why. The fundamentals finally match the narrative. For the first time, StarkNet's technology adoption and tokenomics are moving in the same direction. BTC staking brought real liquidity. The S2 upgrade fixed performance bottlenecks. Cross-chain bridges opened new doors. Institutions got the green light to hold STRK. Short term, I personally see STRK targeting the 30 cent zone, a major technical level. If that breaks with strong volume, the next range I'm watching is around 50 cents or 60 cents. Long term, if StarkNet becomes a core part of Ethereum's future, then $1 plus later in the bull cycle is absolutely possible. But obviously, it depends on market conditions. And of course, volatility will be insane. STRK is not a smooth asset. It dumped 90% before this recovery even started. So always stay grounded. 
All right, that's my full explanation of Starknet and why STRK is suddenly back on everyone's radar. This project finally has real momentum again. New liquidity, new upgrades, new users. And for the first time since the airdrop, the fundamentals genuinely justify the pump. If you want more in-depth videos like this, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And leave a comment below. What are your thoughts on Starknet right now? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.